Hey y'all, welcome to my channel where you can find content on fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on that thumbnail. Hopefully you find something you love. If you're an OG, just welcome back. So I always wanna make sure my hair is fully saturated before I start applying my pre-poo or my shampoo. I spend at least two to four minutes standing under the shower head to make sure all my strands are fully saturated. Once I think I'm good and the shampoo bottle is actually open, I start shampooing usually in two sections, but if two sections aren't enough for you, feel free to divide it again into four. My number one tip while shampooing is do not detangle. Shampoo does not have enough slip to detangle your curls. Today I chose not to use a pre-poo just out of kind of being lazy. So you can see that my hair is slightly matted while I'm shampooing, but I'll take care of that in the next step with conditioner. I like to use the tip of my fingers on my scalp and prayer hands down the shafts of my hair when my hair is not detangled. Don't forget that nape. Watching the shampoo run down my hair is so satisfying.
Today, my hair felt kind of dry. So I did a double cleanse with moisturizing shampoo. The first round was rinsed completely out and then I went in for a second. Okay, now you gotta remember to get that content for all platforms. So I'm getting some real footage for Instagram and YouTube. Make sure you follow me on both. Well, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube. Please and thank you. So after my second shampoo, I gave my hair a nice rinse and then followed in with some moisturizing conditioner. As you can see, I'm very generous with the conditioner. I like to go and put one coat through my entire head and then go back in sections and reapply the conditioner as I feel needed. I like to do this because I don't want the left side of my head to get dry while I'm applying the conditioner and detangling the right side of my head. And as you know, sometimes detangling can take a while, especially if you don't pre-poo like I didn't today. I like to detangle in four sections. Sometimes I make those sections even smaller if I have a lot of matting. Today, I'm finger detangling using the raking method. This method works best for me and my curls. I repeat this method on all four sections of my hair, then put them in some nice chunky twists. I usually let this sit in my hair while I shower for five to 15, maybe 20 minutes. Then I rinse my hair while still in twists.
Rinsing my conditioner out while my hair is still in twists helps to not ruin all the hard work I did while detangling. All done and I'll see you on the next wash day. Thanks for watching. Bye.